Good morning ladies, welcome back to Robin's Beauty Over 50. For today's Thursday throwback, I'm going palette, I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance. Um, I got this palette, I don't even know, probably a year, half, year and a half ago, and I used it exclusively for probably about a month and a half, and I have hit pan on several of the shades, and I love it. So if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, just keep watching. Okay ladies, today I'm going to show you how I got this eye right here using the Modern Renaissance palette. I have hit pan on a bunch of these shadows. When I first got this, I used it almost every day exclusively for probably about a month and a half. So yeah, so let's get busy recreating this eye over here. You know the first thing that I always do is use my little L'Oreal and yes I've hit major pan but I can still get stuff off of it and I just go in smooth out the lid <clears throat> put it all over so whatever I lay down on it uh, will smooth will go on smooth okay the first shadow that I went in with is I can see it <laughs> something fresco but I'll show you what it says. it's this one right here fresco something I can't do the second word is fresco so we'll just go with that and I'm going to put that all over the crease right above my uh, inner crease and it's um, it's a lavender I would say it has some uh, looks like it has a little bit of brown in it it's very very pretty pretty uh, transition shade <clears throat> and with this palette you can get um, they're warm and cool tones you can also get like a um, brown brownish tone look because you've got this little orange over here and then you've got these two light browns and it's got a little bit of orange in those you can al also do a look like that then you've got these two shades right here, and then this shade here that will give you a nice um, burgundy purple look if you want something like that. So this, this is a nice little palette to have. The only thing that I wish it did have in it is a black because these shadows are so easy to blend. They're amazing. I love this little palette. This is one of my favorite um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. All right, and then, then we're going to go in with, I think I went in with Venetian Red right here, the darker of the two reds. Now, I found with that color, it's not, the two colors, the <clears throat> Venetian Red and Love Letter, they are so similar in, um, in color that it doesn't really matter which one you use, but if you wanted to do like a blended look with both of them, it's kind of hard to get that because they are so close in color. So I'm going to put that right in, right in the, um, the crevice of my um, lid right there. Crevice is not the word I want to use. <laughs> You know what I mean. <clears throat> I'm going to pull that over. Get that in there. Crease. There we go. The crease. That's the word I want to use. And bring that over there, just like that. And I'm going to take that first brush, which is a, a Sigma, but I'm not sure which one. It's an E25 or 35. Go back into Bijan Fresco or Bison Fresco, which is this color right here. And I'm going to go right over top of that, just over top of the top of it, not actually over the shadow, but almost all the way up to the eyebrow to kind of blend it out a little bit better. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and come in here to blend those two colors together. Okay, I've got that. Then we're going to go in with Cypress Umber right here. And that's a really dark, it's 
the brown, I'd say it's a true brown. It is um, not the darkest brown that I've seen, but it is a true brown. It's a pretty color. This is where I wish this palette had a black in it. My, um, my eyes, when I put together a look, they do better with blacks on the outer. I do enjoy using a really pretty black. The brown will work, especially for this look because I'm doing a more burgundy look. So I've got that on the outer corner. It's like this lid right here, this eye over here. I put that in. And did I get it dark enough? A little bit darker. All I'm doing is I'm tipping my brush face down into the shadow. I'm tapping it off and, and pressing it into my lid. I'm not um, blending it out. I'm pressing it in to get the most bang for my buck. And then I'm going to go back in with Dijon Frescue. I wish I could see that first word, and I'm just going to go around, blend that brown, just like so, give it a little bit more, then I'm going to go back in with that um, Venetian red right here, and I'm going to make it just a little bit darker right here in the crease and bring it over to that brown. So you can see that red a little bit more. It's not red, it's a rose, dark, dark rose, dark pink. All right, and then I'm gonna go into the brown again, which is the Cypress Umber right here. And I'm gonna do the wing, just a small wing, not nothing, not nothing, not anything, English. <laughs> and then bring it over, bring that wing over. and then bring it underneath and then okay I'm going to go in and smooth that brown out with a pencil brush dip it in a little bit and then bring it bring it over underneath that bottom eye then I'm going to go back into Venetian red and I'm going to go right over top of that brown it gives it a nice raspberry chocolate look. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Need to blend that a little bit more over here. Oops, not blended that well. <clears throat> then I'm going to go into my shimmer shade. Get these blended. And I'm going to go into uh, Vermeer right here the pinky kind of like a pinky shimmer shade and I'm going to put that all over my lid right up to that brown and then I'm going to bring this where is it this brush that I used to press that brown in and I'm going to blend those two together <clears throat> I've got, got it down here a little bit, which I don't want, so I'm going to take this first shade and I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to put a little bit more. My finger is bigger than my, my inner eye, eyelid. So we've got that there. Brush off a little. I'm going to use that exact same shade, Vermeer. And I'm going to go in the inner corner with it. Okay. <clears throat> Finish up the eye. These are the colors that I used from this palette. I used the first color was the fresco color. That's that color there. Then I went in with Venetian red that color and then I went in with Cypress Umber 
And then I went in with Vermeer. And I'll put that big thing in the shimmer. It's hard to get a good shimmer swatch right there. Those are the colors that I used for this look. Let me go ahead and put on my primer and I'll finish up the eye look with after I do the primer and mascara I'll finish the the eyebrow so this is a really nice and these shades last all day long they won't move you don't have to use a, an eyelid primer I have used primers in the past, but I I have shied away from that simply because some of them that I use I use the wrong I use I don't have the right primer and makes my eyeshadow skip and I don't, I don't like that at all. So okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second, and then I'm gonna go in with my lash princess, and this is the false lash effect right over those lashes <clears throat> that's one coat of that I usually use two coats and I may go back in with a third since I, I usually wait to put my um, mascara on until after I have done the, my face work but for time's sake, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to let the top dry, and I'm going to go back into, actually, I used another color in, in here. Underneath my eyebrow, I used, this right here looks looks lighter than this side over here. I may have to go in with um, that shade a little bit more. I used Primavera. Yeah, Primavera. This, like, champagne-y gold and I went right underneath the eyebrow to kind of make that eyebrow stand out a little bit more and give it some depth like that and then I'm going to go in with I'm going to see so that looks like this <clears throat> that shade right there and I'm going to put a little bit more of that vermeer over here just a little bit because the left the right side looks a lot darker than the the right side okay i'm going to finish up my brow Ooh. okay i need a new one of these this is running out in fact i've got a couple of other i probably used before i get that then i'm going to go in with my spoolie and I'm going to push those brows up. I was talking with my husband a minute ago, and I have to go back in and redo that. <laughs> I let that stuff uh, set for too long, and it dried, so I'm going to have to go fix this right here. But I'll do that before. I'll do that off camera. So, um, and then I'm going to finish up the lashes, the bottom lashes this mascara so let me scoop this away and this is the look with the modern renaissance and these are the shadows that I used and I will be back with the rest of my face on in just a minute thank you ladies so much for sticking around with me today while I showed you how I got this look right here with the modern renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you, so click that little subscribe button down below. If you are, thank you so much for supporting me. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will be back on Monday. You guys have a wonderful weekend.